forward to saying goodbye to longtime software provider Microsoft and will be using BlackBerry's QNX operating system for its new vehicles. Ford's new Sync 3 infotainment system will be touchscreen and be increasingly better with voice commands. With the new update, it will integrate better with the iPhone. The Pirate Bay has been shut down. Just days after several of the movies that were stolen from Sony appeared on the file sharing site, Sweden pushed hard to take the site offline. In a police raid in Stockholm, multiple servers and computers were confiscated due to copyright infringement. Wakey has made its way to Apple's App Store and is also available in Android. Wakey functions as social alarm clock where a community of people wake each other up every morning. Users set their alarm and they get a wake-up call from another random user on the network. Microsoft has begun accepting the digital currency Bitcoin as payment option to buy games, apps, and other digital content from its stores including Xbox and Window Phone. While not quite mainstream as of yet, the use of digital currency like Bitcoin is growing rapidly. The Kano Computer Kit is the gift that will keep on giving, so says the tech company on Kickstarter. For $150, parents can purchase the kit that will teach their kids how to build a computer and learn basic coding skills to program it. Kano has already shipped 20,000 kits all around the world. That's it for Technology Today. I'm Michelle and I'll see you again. Oh, <sighs>